Hello and welcome to Pixels and Pinfalls. My name is Edward and in this video we are going to run through the Extreme Rules No, sorry, the horror show at Extreme Rules Hashtag trademark We're going to run through the card and I'm going to give you my predictions for who I think is going to win now, if you want to compete with me, please let me know in the comments below what your predictions are, or alternatively, you can do that over on Twitter or Facebook. And if you manage to best me, then you can win yourself a sticker featuring the Pixels and Pinfalls logo. Now, I am recording this before the final SmackDown show, before the pay-per-view so if any matches get added there then unfortunately they're gonna have to just not count towards the score as we are we have six matches and they are the ones I'm going to predict in this video starting off with the US title match between the champion Apollo Crews and the challenger MVP now we have a nice new title belt, it's about time. It's not great, I mean it's okay, but it's a damn sight better than the one they had before. Anyway, the actual champion Apollo Crews hasn't even seen this belt yet, so it would be nice if he could actually win this match and take back the physical belt. Also, I think if he does win this one, it kind of leads on to a match between him and Bobby Lashley, probably at SummerSlam, and I think Lashley will probably wipe the floor with him there. So I'm going at the moment for an Apollo Crews victory, leading on to a match between him and Lashley at SummerSlam, which he will probably lose. Next up, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship match between the champion Bailey and the challenger Nikki Cross. No doubt Alexa Bliss will be in Nikki Cross's corner, and I'm guessing Sasha and Bailey will help each other out tonight, or they might use that as a reason to not be supporting each other. I'm not sure because they'll be busy getting ready for their own matches. Who knows? But in this match, I predict that thanks to Sasha Banks' assistance, Bailey will retain her belt. I mean, she has to drop it to Sasha Banks at this point, doesn't she? There's no way she's going to be dropping it before they kind of implode. And potentially off the back of this match, Cross and Bliss can get another shot at the tag team titles. Maybe because of the whole double teaming or outside interference they kind of weave that into the storylines and I can see them winning the tag belts as kind of the final blow up between Bailey and Sasha down the line. Speaking of Sasha she is challenging Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship and in kind of an inverse of fate, I think because either Bailey refuses to help her or she sort of tries to help her and fails, or maybe she intentionally fails, who knows, I think Asuka will be retaining her belt here. As I said before, Sasha, her next success has to be taking the belt off of Bailey in a kind of blow up of that feud. So I think winning this here would kind of lessen that later on down the line so I'm going to go for a retention for Asuka. Moving away from the title matches we have an eye for an eye match between Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio. Now this stipulation screams heel victory surely. I can't really see a sympathetic baby face winning by such gruesome means and still kind of I know Rey Mysterio can do pretty much anything and be beloved but it it just doesn't really fit the character at all also with him not being under contract at the moment they can use this as a way to kind of write him out if he never does sign a new contract that can be kind of the end of him for the time being if he does come back they can make alterations to his mask so that they can kind of cover up the fact that his eye is missing and Seth Rollins can use this to generate even more heat for himself and his group. 
This may also be the kind of catalyst to push Dominic into the ring as well. Next up we have a champion in action in Braun Strowman, but he is not putting his Universal title on the line. He is facing the kind of Wyatt family version of Bray Wyatt in a swamp match. Now he has already beaten the kind of jumper wearing children's TV presenter version of Bray Wyatt. I predict he's going to win this as well and kind of exercise himself of the demons of the Wyatt family and that can lead Bray Wyatt to have to get the Fiend persona back again and use that to actually finally beat Braun Strowman, possibly at SummerSlam. His title reign has been very meh. And I think if the belt was put back on Fiend, because arguably it should never have been taken off of him earlier in the year, that will kind of hopefully reset the character a little bit and kind of keep him at the top of the card. And finally, we have the WWE title match between Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler. Now, Dolph Ziggler has not told Drew McIntyre what the stipulation for this match is that he is getting to pick. If the internet is to be believed, uh, specifically adverts that were now on Facebook, I believe this is going to be a TLC match, but who knows, they might completely change course from that. It may have been kind of intended to be that initially, but what with that going out on social media, they might just now can that and change the match to something else entirely. But whatever it is, this has to be a Drew McIntyre win here all day long. Dolph Ziggler being a champion now, or like a world champion now, just, I, it's never going to work. He is going to need at least a year or two of rebranding and resetting and repackaging in order to really properly put him up in that world title kind of echelon. Yes, he's challenged for it a couple of times. He challenged Kofi last year as well. But again, we never thought he was going to win those matches either. And lo and behold, he didn't. So this has got to be Drew McIntyre all the way. And they are my predictions. Please let me know yours in the comments below. And as I said at the top of this video, if you manage to beat my score out of six for these predictions, then you will win yourself a sticker with the Pixels and Pinfalls logo on it. You can also let me know on Twitter or Facebook what your predictions are as well. But until next time, this has been Pixels and Pinfalls. My name has been Edward and I shall see you very soon. Goodbye. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. To keep up to speed with everything we're doing, you can find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you wish to support us financially, you can do so over on Patreon for as little as $1 per month. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Till next time, we'll see you very soon. Goodbye.